Hi guys. It's um. Well, I was going to say Sunday evening, but it's now gone midnight, so it's technically Monday morning. It's actually eight minutes past midnight. And I've got Fluffy Ass joining me here on the table, the computer desk. Say hello. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'll try and make this as quick as possible. Uh, did go to Mum's. We did stop at the recycle centre. I picked up five PC games and some software. Microsoft Office Home and Student 2007. Only because it had the product key and whatnot in it. Will you stop giving me that look? You've got food in your dish. And we'll get off. No, not giving me kisses on the nose. I said bugger off. <laughs> ah, so hot and muggy tonight. I don't know if it still is, but it was raining. Um, the other thing I came back with from the dump was two full suspension mountain bikes, or dual suspension mountain bikes. I've heard them called that as well. Commonly called full suspension over here. Um, red and silver one is looking a little on the rough side, but nothing a clean and a couple of replacement parts won't fix. Um, it is still raining. Does need new right hand grip shifter, the mechanism has broken that. Does move freely, the dryly moves up and down. Is it this one that the front gears work on? Oh, fucking hell, no, there, Steve. Ow, I actually hurt my hand. Although, it looks like... It looks like someone may have screwed one of the adjuster screws all the way fucking in. <sighs> so that might be the cause. The other one, the purple one, which I believe is a unisex. I think it's designed to be for, well, whoever likes it. Um, the front gears don't work on that either. Yep, and I've just found out why. Oh, no, the screw is out, so that's not the problem. I thought the screw was screwed all the way in. Um, so it may need another cable, or the cable oiled, or something. The cables look fine, though, so I don't know why that's... Maybe the drain has just gone stiff from lack of use. Uh, I do believe the rear gears work on this one. I haven't actually... Did I try them? Oh, I can't remember. Uh, this one's actually, I didn't get any wheels with these, no actually I tell a lie, I got a front wheel with this one. Um, but I've got that donor bike that's now locked up out front, only because I wanted to tidy up the back. No one was complaining but it was actually annoying me that I had my bikes locked there so as I had space by my trailer I thought I'd lock them there. Um, anyway, I'll take the wheels from that stick in this one. Should be able to sort of grip shift out for this. No pr what problem. Handlebar, I've got to sort out on the purple one. Um, I'm not going to paint it. What I'm going to do... I've got a couple of handlebars down by the front door. Outside the front door. Um, if I don't like any of those, then I'm going to use this one. <laughs> Because um, I'm going to do the purple one first, because I actually think that one's the better one. I don't think that'll be hanging around for long when it's done. Um, silver and red one here is another Apollo. I've lost count on how many Apollos I've picked up from the Recycle Centre and sold. But that purple one is actually relatively clean. It's not too bad. Um, the usual nuts and bolts on the brake levers have gone rusty. They always bloody do. Um, but the bolts on the um, suspension shock there aren't too bad. Or on the brakes, they're not too bad either. It's actually reasonably clean. Um, so I don't think it's actually had that much use, to be honest. These 
were the two I wanted last weekend, but didn't have the cash at the time to get them. But uh, I actually thought, I, yeah, I actually thought they would have been gone by this weekend. Either that someone else would have bought them, or they'd have ended up in the um, scrap bin. Because uh, after about a week, if a bike hasn't sold, then the guys at the recycle centre just chuck them in the recycle bin. Because bikes is one of the things that do sell quite well down there. So I suppose if they haven't sold after a week, they ain't going to sell. So, But I really do, sometimes I really do put some fucking shit in there. That isn't even worth anything for parts. Um, there was one more suspension bike there, a nice red and black one. Well, I say a nice red and black one. Um, rear brake had completely seized, front brake completely seized, front wheel seized, rear wheel or the rear free wheel seized, and the front suspension forks seized. Um, to be perfectly honest, if the front suspension forks on it wasn't seized, I would have had it, but it wasn't worth fixing up because I haven't got any forks anyway. If I had spare forks to throw into it, then I would have had it again, but it just wasn't worth it. It wasn't even worth it for any parts, so I didn't bother. Part of me still w wishes I did get it, but nah, it wasn't worth it. Uh, part of me wants to keep the purple and silver suspension bike because I like it but as I've said before I don't need it I don't actually like them that much anymore I used to, I used to love suspension bikes but I've gone right off them I did pick up these as well for a pound each I've got Fallout 2 I did check these and the games are in them. Office Home and Student 2007, that's got the product key in it. Colin McRae Rally 2005, Robot Wars, Lock On, Hitman. But the only games that actually looked worth having to me, so. Uh, what am I going to play them on? I've got that up and running again. Because uh, when I did this Packard up for Mum, it needed a good amount of memory, so I took the two gigs out of that one, stuck in this one. Um, but now that one's sort of, well, it's in need of repairs. It's fixable, but uh, it's not worth it for Mum. Only for me as like a, you know, a keepsake sort of thing for my collection. So I just took the memory out and put it back in my. Uh, Alienware gaming laptop so that's up and running so one I've actually had a tidy up in here tomorrow hopefully and the hallway uh, and whatnot I'll uh, break that out probably up here and, and uh, I'll get some games up and running I'm not sure what games I'm gonna play um, I don't know if I'll play any of these. I need to sort controller out. I don't have a controller with analog sticks like I like to use. Like the uh, Xbox controller there. I could use that one because I do have the cable for it. Or at least I do now, now that I bought one. I didn't beforehand. Um, but I've got no batteries to put in that controller. Um, I'm starting to think I should have got the um, PS3 style USB controller that uh, Black Records had. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm just going to take these discs through and put in the bedroom for now with the others. Well, I thought, as this one's actually in the way at the moment, so I can't get to the desktop Windows XP rig, gaming rig as I call it. I figured I'd get the Alienware laptop out and use that. So, just for the time being, I'm going to stack these up here. 
been quite a collection of PC games, and I've only played a handful of them. Forklift Truck Simulator and... Um, uh, I can't remember what it's called, The Neighbours game. Which is up there. But uh, You can get PC games and charity shops a lot. Most of them in town sell them. I even think Black Records has got some in. The recycle centre I go to always has things like this and DVDs and... Uh, it's just weird what people buy and then just decide to throw away. Because to me, you're just throwing away your money. I know it's their money and they can do what they like with it, but it just seems daft to me and a waste. <clears throat> but, whatever floats the boat. Yeah, I'm going to put that up. I took a roll downstairs earlier because uh, the lights out on the landing here, the communal area lights, are operated by a light sensor that's mounted on the wall by the back door. And the problem is when it gets really dull and dark during the day, because of bad weather and whatnot, you can't see stuff all out there in the stairwell and it can be quite dangerous you know because you can't see very well you could easily piss down the stairs so me and my infinite wisdom went down there with a the bit of tape and taped up the bloody photo cell so they stay on because <laughs> I'm sick to death of going down the stairs and not being able to see fuck all <clears throat> especially when I'm carrying or got to carry things up and down the stairs that's dangerous I wish Victory would um, install motion sensor lights. That would be a better idea. So they come on when you, um, you know, walk under them or open your flat door. Uh, where my friend lives, just down the road, he's got those. Because that's a new building that was built by Victory. They stuck those up. And they seem to work really well, you know. They just come on as and when they're needed. I did talk about it last time I spoke to some Victory reps that were doing the um, rounds to check the buildings and whatnot. But I haven't heard no more. It can't be that hard. It can only be a matter of um, changing the actual light fitting because they'll have the motion sensor built in, won't they? Unless... Um, they would need to put a trigger so they trigger on all floors at the same time. I don't know. That might actually be a slightly bigger job than I'm thinking. Uh, I don't know. Something like that would be nice though. Right. I'm going to shut down the PC I think and... Uh, Head off to bed. My legs are so sore at the moment because I've had those weird looking, I don't know if I'd call them bites. I haven't got any on this arm. Plenty of psoriasis. That's itching as well, my psoriasis, because of the heat. Um, I keep getting these like little bite things that keep itching like fucking hell. Pretty certain they're not flea bites because I've not seen any on Nemo. And he's not scratching himself to pieces either. Um, so I don't know what they are. I've got some on my arm. Somewhere. Some there. That red dot's there. That's where I've scratched them and made them bleed. And that's what I've done all over. It's mostly on my legs. Especially my right leg. Why do I keep getting a random ache in that right knee? It's like a an ache, twinge sort of thing. Oh, I've stopped it now. How weird is that? <clears throat> My body is just weird. It's just... <clears throat> I try to think what I'm going to be like when I hit my 70s, if I make it that far. Who knows? You don't know what the future holds, do you? Yeah. So, uh... <laughs> 
It's all around my middle as well. My belt buckle is digging in at the minute and irritating it. I don't know if I'm actually allergic. Might even be allergic to something. <sighs> Google Play Game Fest exclusive in-game offers. Play now. Ah, that'll be the games that'll say they're free to download, but within game purchases. I've seen those on the uh, Microsoft app. Ooh. Prime Minister warns Brexit could put state pensions at risk. In other words, he's actually threatening that if we leave the E or vote to leave the EU, he will make cuts to state pensions. That's what it translates to. It won't affect it itself, but he will. Because he's that sort of a prick. So I don't see how it would affect state pensions, considering we won't be paying any money into the EU, so technically this country should be better off financially if we leave the EU. Not Europe, the European Union. And we'll always be part of Europe. We're part of the continent. We're a little island of the continent, we are. Anyway. You can probably tell I don't like David Cameron. I don't think many people do, which is... Well, I'm surprised he got voted back in. Considering no one fucking likes him. <laughs> he's got... I'm pretty certain in my lifetime he's got to be the worst Prime Minister we've ever had. I store cats on my shelf. What do you store on yours? <laughs> Thank you. That's your cold, wet nose all over my hand. I think I'll do a temporary sort out on his cat tray before I disappear to bed. Because it is minging a bit. I'll do that, then I'll go to bed then. Right, close that down. Close that. Close that. What are you doing? <coughs> Bloody cat is as nutty as I am. I bet he wants me to go to bed. I bet that's what it is. That's it, get right there. Right there. Oh yeah, is that lovely? Right behind the ears? <laughs> I've actually scratched behind his ears like that and made him scratch. Well, give me that look. Ooh. Is it bedtime? I think it's bedtime. Alright. So, tomorrow's plan is... I'll give that Toshiba laptop back to Biggles because you know someone that wants the screen from it. So I've actually taken out all my bits that I put on it, so that's ready to go. If I see Mum tomorrow, I'll give it to her. Uh, I'm going to see if I can get that purple mountain bike done, so the Apollo can go and sit out on the landing tomorrow, out of bloody way. I've got the battery for the e-bike back on charge. I don't like leaving batteries on charge unless I'm at home, so I took it off charge this lunchtime when I went to Mum's. And again, it dropped down to 5.5 volts. Just over 5.5 volts, actually. Was it 5.54, if I'm going to be exact? Um, so I've got it on charge again. It's probably now taken it up to probably about 6, 7 volts already. So I'm just going to leave it. <coughs> Get it up the voltage again. really should uh, get a proper charger. 
And I'm actually going to try and arrange to go and put that down in the bloody shed out of my way when it's done. So I only need to keep the battery up here. Just wind my cab. Right. Other than that, I don't really have anything planned. Oh. Clear some space and have a clear up in here as well. I want to clear some space on this shelf. Do you know it was a year ago that I put that in there? A year already. It's only because um, Facebook Memories put up the photo today. I was like, bloody hell. Well, the building site photo, as I called it, where I'd cleared all that area to put it up. But uh, it was the same day that I put it up. Or was it? Well, it was about a year ago anyway. Right. I'm going to disappear to bed. Oh, I'll put a bottle of coke in the fridge. Before I forget. I've had that one sitting here most of the night, so it's gone warm and flat now. Right. Thanks for watching. I'll put this video up. It's getting a bit late now and I've just turned the PC off, so this will go up when I wake up. So, thanks for watching. I'll talk to you tomorrow when I'm playing around with these bikes. Bye.